Welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 15. Get your name on there. Don't forget it. Pause the video if you have to, to write it in. Number 1. We're going to do more. This is going to be more multiples of 4 and tape diagrams. And we're going to have some arrays in here too. So number 1. Label the tape diagrams and complete the equations. Then draw an array to represent the problem. So here's the first one. We know that there's three in each box, like a unit, and that there are one, two, three, four units. But let's just count the smiley faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve smiley faces. So four. Units times 3 is 12. And here we have 4 in each unit and 3 units. Still 12. 3 times 4 is 12. So we're going back to the commutative property again. And then here's our array. It's already done for us. And the other ones we'll have to draw our own array. Okay, so in B we have 9 triangles in that unit and we have four units so that's going to end up being 36 four times nine and each one is 36 now, if you, you probably don't know all of your multiples of four by now if you do good one on you but uh, if you don't uh, you can draw all these. It's a, it begins to get a pain. When the numbers get bigger, it gets to be a real pain to count 36, to draw and count 36 triangles, and it really slows you down. So, and, and even if you're adding nines, that can be a bit of a pain too. Uh, there's going to be some shortcuts to figure out nines. There's a lot of them, but we'll get to those later. But right now we're looking at fours. And so it's a little bit more manageable when you see this here. Uh, one of the tricks that you can do is like just write, just write in nines instead of drawing the nine things, and you can count up nine at a time if you have to do it that way. But it's, it's easier to count up four at a time. There's four here. There's nine units. It's still going to be 36 things. So it's now it's nine groups times four in each group. 36. And we got to draw this. Uh, we're going to draw this array. So I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to take this first one here. This first one here is nine in each group, so that's nine in each row, and there's going to be four rows of nine. You can see this gets to be tedious with the larger factors. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it just really so much saves you a lot of um, energy and time to practice flashcards or whatever you do that works to help you memorize the, the uh, multiplication facts. Uh, so here now we have something times four. We have one, two. Five, six groups, so it's really at six times four. And that's going to be, it's going to end up being 24. All right, so then we're going to have four in each group and six groups. Because these are all multiples of four we're doing. Now we have six in each group and four groups. Four times six, 24. In our array, I'll just go with the first one here. And we have four in each row and six rows. One, two, three, four, five, five rows. 
equals to 24. And drawing arrays and counting, uh, that's, that's one way to figure out a fact that you just don't know yet. Uh, seven clowns hold four balloons each at the fair. Draw and label a tape diagram to show the total number of balloons the clowns hold. So we have seven clowns and four balloons, but we don't know the total number. That's what we need to know. So here we have, we have seven clowns. We need seven boxes in our tape. Six lines make seven boxes, and we're going to have four balloons. So here, what do we know? We know that there's four. Four balloons. And we know that there are six or oh, seven. Oops. seven clowns, but what we don't know is total balloons. And so our multiplication sentence is going to be seven groups times four in each group is twenty-eight. And if you don't know 7 times 4 equals 28, you can just draw them. There's four balloons in each group. Use the array or the tape diagram to figure out what the product is. And just count. Just draw pictures and count. Uh, so we need seven. Each row is a clown. right? There's seven of them. Each row is a clown, and there's four balloons. So that's, a, that's one clown with four balloons. Here's the next clown. So I need seven of these. And they all have four. One, two, three, four, five. There's row six. And here's row seven. And then our last one. <clears throat> George swims seven laps in the pool each day. How many laps does he swim after four days? So he's each day he swims. Says we have groups of seven and we have four groups of seven. All right, and here we go. Seven laps, and what else we know is that there are four days. What we don't know, what we don't know is the total laps. All right, so that's going to be, you could just, you know, if you know Adding sevens is kind of one of the trickier numbers to add. There are tricks to it, though. You might have learned in class. You could just write sevens in each box instead of drawing the pictures if you know where you're going with this. Uh, and then also, uh, if we're going to draw the array, we're going to draw the array. We need four days. That's four rows. And so each one is going to have seven in it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try and keep it in order here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have seven. We have four days times seven laps. Each day is 